You know, at six, a Beaver County man has died after a rattlesnake bite over the weekend. It happened in Weedville, Elk County, and we're learning more about this, the rarity of these types of incidents. Erica Stanish is standing by with more on how you can protect yourself. Erica. Jen, doctors tell me getting bit doesn't happen often, but if you do, you could have only minutes to survive without seeking medical attention. According to the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, a man in Elk County had severe breathing problems just 30 minutes after he was bitten by a rattlesnake. It happened in Weedville when Robert Davis and his girlfriend were out camping. The Post-Gazette says on the way to the hospital, the breathing problems Davis was experiencing worsened, and he later died before any treatment could be given. Connemaw Medical Chairman of Emergency Medicine Dr. Daniel Weiner says depending on the type and amount of venom, the victim could have just minutes to seek medical attention. If there are other toxins that cause uh, nervous system problems, twitching, uh, seizures, uh, cardiovascular collapse, uh, oftentimes there are anywhere from minutes to an hour or two. Weiner says if the toxins mostly affect muscles in the skin, the victim could have several hours before there's any significant damage done. He adds there are a few things you can do to help a victim survive. The more you move, the faster your heart beats, the faster your heart beats, the quicker the venom gets circulated through the system. So it's probably best to allow the victim to just lie still and carry the victim as opposed to making the victim walk uh, to get medical help. It's also important to keep the affected body part higher than the heart. As high as possible, as much as possible. And really that's pretty much all that really you can do until you get help. Dr. Weiner says there are some remedies that have been used over the years that are harmful and could hurt the victim before help them. One thing that used to be done was to put a tourniquet on the affected extremity. What it does is keep the toxin in that particular area for a longer period of time. And if the toxin destroys tissue, then it can destroy that arm while it's in there for a longer period of time. Now, if you do get bit by a rattlesnake or any type of poisonous snake, be sure to call 911 and seek medical attention. Reporting live, Erica Stanish, 6 News.